Hello, good morning. It's November 9th, Saturday, 2024. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. It's been an incredible couple of days. I'm gonna read from a new affirmation list that I found in a book that I bought on Friday. It's called, it comes from the 369 Journal by, and I hope I say her name right, by Kyla Shaheen. Beautiful, beautiful book. So this is on page 31 and it's called Affirmations for Abundance. First, let's breathe in and out. The good news, I've already gotten some positive feedback from these videos, which they are helping many people. Um, so that's kind of cool. If we, if I can make one little change, help one person, which is huge, a day, it's something because it helps me. And that's, I count two as that one person. <laughs> if I can help myself, that's great. <laughs> All right. Affirmations for abundance. I don't chase. I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. I can do anything I set my mind to. The world is rigged in my favor. I accept myself for who I am. I have the power to create change. I am grateful for all that I have. I achieve my goals by taking action. There is abundance all around me. Today is the best day of my life. I attract abundance where my thoughts, words, and action, with my thoughts, words, and actions. Abundance is my natural state of being. I am grateful for the abundance that I have. I am open to new opportunities for abundance. I attract abundance into my life with joy and love. I am thankful for the abundance in my life. I am open to receiving the abundance that the universe has to offer. I focus on the positive. I deeply love and accept myself. <sighs> There's so much to be said for positive, positive thoughts, positive perspectives. And it feels strange at first. Oh, it does. If you're new to positive affirmations. The first few times I ever read them, I actually cried. I couldn't get through a list without crying. In fact, I would listen. I listen to them still every day. Today I listen to a beautiful positive affirmation meditation. And the first time I ever listened to this a few years ago, I cried because I didn't even believe half the stuff they were saying, but I wanted to. But now I can honestly say I love myself. I do. I get to love me. So that's a lot, right? So I've learned a few things in the last few days. I try to keep it short and sweet. Um, so if, it's, if today's your birthday on the 9th of November, um, have you ever... Okay, so recently I had to work through a big change in plans. I was so excited to wake up in the morning and I wanted to do something great with my two sons, like just an adventure, like spur the moment adventure. And it didn't go as planned. My older son has, like I had said in the previous Marco, or not Marco Polo's videos, he does struggle with some chemical imbalances and I have to be ready for him and, and, ready to accommodate him and it can be hard for my younger son who really wanted to have something fun it takes a lot of patience right when you have someone with mental health problems not problems but illness you know i have them too and so i had to at one point you know take a breath you know and um, i let him he wanted to call he called to talk to somebody through um, an agency that we work with which is good he wanted to so i made that available for him and ready a crisis hotline it helped. Um, I ended up just taking my younger son for a bike ride and our dog to the dog park. And that was really good. We got fresh air. We got to work off some energy. Of course, my younger son was really still kind of disappointed, but it was something. It was better than nothing. And my husband talked to my older son for a few hours. And that helped too, just to have someone to listen to and someone ready for him there. Um, Silly but surely, things improved. You know, we let it take its time and its course. The, I guess it was a bit of a, 
I don't know, like a mania he was going through, you know? So you never know how those are going to play out. But I must say, finding gratitude and positivity in the moment helped in being present. Like this time, he was able to not go into behavioral issues with the, I guess, type of mania, whatever. We don't even know what the cause was. But he was actually, there was a lot of huge improvements from in the past. So that helped a lot, focusing on positive, you know? Um, having help from... The community helps too, um, from our local community mental health department. It really helps a lot. So um, as parents, we can feel panicked, but you have to be able to go with the flow a lot of the time and accept change, you know, and things never stay the same. So that can be a good thing to remember too, to keep in mind. So happy birthday if today's your birthday. I know I'm not the only one going through all kinds of twists and turns, but this is our story and your journey and my journey, and let's enjoy the journey. <laughs> Are you sick of hearing journey? <laughs> I know I am, <laughs> but that's okay. Have a great day.